Good morning, this is Sarah, your Imperfect Carnivore in the UK. This is just a really quick video for the people that have followed me for the best part of a year. Um, it's not going to be that interesting, but um, and I know that I bore people with my, is she going to be dairy? Is she not going to be dairy? Last year I completed 160 days without dairy, so it is something I'm very serious about. It's not something I'm doing one day, then the next. I'm either doing it or not doing it at all. Um, um, a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I might want to introduce it to make my journey easier. And yes, okay, I've given myself some more variety, which is nice. But my sinuses have been so bad. The first few days, it wasn't too bad. My lovely friend Tanya, who follows me, um, hi Tanya, she asked me how I was doing. And I very honestly asked her, answered the question with, actually, I'm doing fine. It has taken a bit of a while to build up. Um, in the first few days, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I am puffier, my clothes, um, I am more bloated, but I was willing to put up with that. I was willing to take the puffiness and the bloating, um, but I can't take the sinus fog. That's bad. Um, I thought I was suffering dehydration. I thought I was just suffering tiredness, um, but it would appear, you know, my sciences, sciences? Yeah, my sciences are bad, but also my sinuses are really bad. Um, and my husband noticed I was sniffing more this morning. I said to him last night, I said, if I wake up tomorrow with a headache that I have to take a headache tablet for, the dairy's going. So all night long, I'm asleep, enjoying myself. And this morning I wake up thinking, how am I? Head's hurting. Head's hurting, nose is sniffing. It can only be the dairy. Do I have a sinus infection that's viral? That is a possibility, but I think it's more likely to be the dairy. And whether it's a sinus infection or a dairy overload, I know that giving up the dairy products will alleviate the symptoms because once I've drained all of that out of my system, I know that I will think clearer, feel better, and not have a headache anymore. So today is the 1st of February, 2024, and I... Um, I'm going back off the dairy. I don't anticipate any problems with that. I think I'll do it a long time. I will add it to my counting app. As I said before, last year I managed 160 days. Um, so I don't anticipate any problems with it being gone in my life. Um, and um, that's my update. Is And the thumbnail is probably going to be something along the lines of has dairy gone forever? I would say probably yes, because I've been messing, um, it's, a, it's a shame. I mean, if you're someone that's never given up dairy and you don't really have to, my advice would be think carefully because if you don't have an actual specific reason to stop it and you stop it for 160 days, you may discover that when you go back to it, your body can't take it anymore. That's my only thing I'd like to say in, the, in any word of advice, if you haven't given it up and you are fine with it and your body tolerates it and you feel fantastic and you don't have any health problems with it, have a serious think about whether you want to quit it. Because it seems now that my body, now that my body had a nice time without it for 160 whole days, it now can't stand it at all. That's what it looks like. That's what it appears to be. So this is a quick one, just to say, I'm, I've done a two weeks on dairy. First week wasn't too bad, but the last week I have had horrible blocked up sinuses, mucus, runny nose. And I, as you know, I work with special, um, special educational needs children, and I cannot be walking around with constant headache and brain fog in that environment. <laughs> I don't want to have brain fog or headache in any environment, but working with children that require additional needs is makes it even trickier. So it's Thursday today. By Monday, it will probably be completely out of me. Next week, I expect not to have any kind of headache or brain fog or feeling like crap. So that's just my quick, I don't think I can do dairy anymore video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring and hopefully I explained it well enough to, you know, I have to tell people because there are some people that, that, that are following my journey and they 
you know, I need to be completely honest about how it's going. So I'm not having dairy anymore and I'm not even sad about it because I'm so used to not having it that it's no big deal. I will continue having mixed carnivore, um, you know, continuing to have the chicken and the chicken skins. And one thing that was interesting though, before we go, if anyone is still listening, I'd got so used to having steaks and salmon and all the rest of it without butter that when I added it, I didn't actually, I didn't actually enjoy it as much as I thought I would. You know, you think how you, adding butter to everything makes everything delicious. Well, when you haven't had it for 160 days, actually you do get used to the taste of the meat cooked in the dripping and salt on its own. And when I'd re-added the butter, I actually didn't taste as amazing as I thought it was going to. And the cheese didn't taste as amazing as I thought it was going to. I had terrible aftertaste after having cheese. Is that a thing I had before? I don't know. Whenever I do eat cheese in the last, you know, in the last couple of weeks, I'm terrible aftertaste, awful. I feel like I want to clean my mouth. So I think, I think, I know I've said this before, but <laughs> the way I felt over the last week, I genuinely, genuinely think that this, my relationship with dairy is finally divorced. Dead. Dead in the water. Mixed animal products, but without the animal products, if you know what I mean. Animal flesh and fat only for me from now on. Anyway, wanted to update you in case you were wondering whether I was still having cheese and how it was affecting me. At least I've managed to get off it quickly before the psoriasis comes rumbling back in. So summer should be good. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And um, hopefully you can't hear all those noisy voices in the background. And you take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.